here and actually I just noticed that we all all fuel tanks are and liquid oxygen tanks are now fully loaded so complete there on the prop load at uh, here in just 30 seconds or so we'll hear a call out that Falcon 9 is in so we'll hear a call out that Falcon 9 is in startup which means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers have taken over the launch countdown at T minus two seconds, the Merlin engines will light and liftoff will be commanded to the vehicle at T minus zero. So right now, as we approach the T minus one minute mark, the Starlink payload and the planet payloads continue to look healthy. Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the rocket. Weather continues to look good and the range is green for launch. Falcon 9 is in start up. Stage two, press for flight. LDs, go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. Okay, so we're in the final phases of the countdown. Let's Stage watch as Falcon 9 takes hey, 15 15 Starlink satellites Falcon and three planet sky sats into orbit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, ignition, and lift off of the Falcon 9, go Starlink. A successful liftoff of Falcon 9 Power from Space Alpha. Launch Complex 40 for this 11th Starlink mission. The three planet Skysats and our 58 Starlink satellites are on their way to space. In about 10 seconds, we will be approaching max Q. Merlin engines Vehicle are now throttling supersonic. down as they anticipate the moment of greatest aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. All right, we just went through Max Q, and the vehicle is now supersonic. And Merlin engines have throttled back up. So coming up in about a minute, we'll have three events happening back to back. First will be main engine cutoff, or MECO. This is where all nine Merlin engines will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second the event, stage started. separation. This is where the first stage separates from the second stage with sta stage one starting to make its way back to Earth for landing, while second stage will kick off the third event of, in this sequence, SCS-1 or second engine start one. This is where that Merlin vacuum engine will ignite and begin to propel the second stage along with our payloads into orbit. Main engine cutoff coming up in about 20 seconds. Everything continuing to look nominal for stage one. We yeah, have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And in back ignition. All right, so there we saw those three events all happen in quick succession. Stage one is now making its way back to Earth. There on the left-hand side of your screen, we can see the grid fins slowly deploying. And on the right-hand side of your screen, the Merlin vacuum engine beginning to develop that healthy orange glow as it continues its journey on to orbit. Fairing separation confirmed. We're just a few seconds away from fairing deployment. 
There we go. Visual confirmation of fairing deployment. We've Once again, as a reminder, we flew those fairings on a previous Starlink mission in January earlier this year. So with that, we have successfully reused this fairing pair. Like I said earlier, we will be attempting to catch those fairing halves with our recovery ships, Ms. Tree and Ms. Chief. Bermuda acquisition of signal. Continuing nominally. While the second stage is continuing to do its job, the first stage is making its way back home to Earth. In the next few minutes, it will be executing two burns. The first is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines at the bottom of the first stage will light up and begin to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is known as the landing burn, this is a single engine burn that will bring the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to make a soft landing on the drone ship. The 58 Stage Starlink satellites that trajectory. are being carried along on the right-hand side of your screen there by the second stage, we'll be joining our constellation of over 600 Starlink satellites that are already on orbit, which once again are designed to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people on Earth. This is particularly important for places where good internet is hard to access, as well as places where wired or grounded internet is impossible, such as ships and airplanes. We're one minute away from the beginning of that entry burn. On the left-hand side of your screen, we can see stage one coasting. Using nothing but those grid fins, we see them articulate here and there as they continue to steer. And we also utilize nitrogen gas uh, for occasional little bursts of that nitrogen gas, and we use that for attitude control, which sometimes you can catch a glimpse of as little white puffs. Second stage continuing nominally. Now at one and a half Gs for acceleration. And 10 seconds away now from the beginning of that entry burn. Again, this is the first of two burns intended to slow the vehicle's velocity Stage down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn startup. And there we can see that the entry burn has begun and will last for about 20 seconds. Stage two continues on nominal trajectory. Again, this burn utilizes three engines at the base of the rocket. And Stage there one, we can burn, see the entry burn has concluded. Second stage trajectory is still looking nominal. And in less than a minute, we will see the first stage on the left-hand side of the screen perform its landing burn. Looking back at our second stage, everything continues to look good. Once again, we are carrying 58 Starlink satellites prepared to join the 600, over 600 Starlink satellites that are already stage on orbit, as well as three rideshare satellites for our customer planets. Those three Skysats will join the 18 Skysats that are already also on orbit. We're about 15 seconds away from landing burn. Terminal guidance.
stage one, landing burn. And landing burn has begun. You should see the stage plume two, from the rocket saved. appear on the screen here. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Our touchdown and shutoff. Successful one, landing, landing of the first stage booster. Once again, this is the sixth time that we have utilized this booster on a mission. Also marking its sixth landing. This is the, of course, I still love you drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. So turning our attention back to second stage, we've had Nominal confirmation of second engine cutoff or SECO-1. And we also have confirmation of a good Usually orbit. So now that stage two is going to coast in this orbit for another three and a half minutes, uh, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back at T plus 12 minutes for the deployment of planets three Skysats. Welcome back to the webcast for this 11th Starlink mission. We had an on-time liftoff from Cape Canaveral and everything is looking nominal for our second stage. As we can see on our screen there, the stack of payloads. We are carrying 58 Starlink satellites as well as three rideshare satellites for our customer planet. We're about 10 seconds away from the first of three deployments for those planet sky sats. Skysat 21, deploy confirmed. Okay, deployment confirmed for that first Skysat. The first of three this morning. And there on your screen, at the end of the stack, slowly making its way away from the second stage. We can see that first Skysat moving along. Skysat 20, deploy confirmed. And confirmation that the second Skysat has deployed. We'll see that here momentarily. Ah, there it is at the end of the stack again. 
and awaiting the third and final deployment for this rideshare customer. And skies at 19, deploy confirmed. And deployment confirmed for that third and final SkySat for our customer planet. These three SkySats will be joining 18 already on orbit, which will complete the fleet of 21 and make it the largest high resolution fleet of satellites in orbit to date. Like I mentioned before, they'll be capable of imaging a single location up to 12 times a day. Right now, stage two is going to continue to coast in this or orbit for a few more minutes. During this time, it will start to spin along its central axis, uh, which will give those Starlink satellites the momentum they require to space themselves out over time after deployment at T, T plus 46 minutes. So right now we're gonna take a break, but stay tuned because we'll be back at T plus 45 minutes in preparation for the deployment of those 58 Starlink, Starlink satellites. Stay with us. <laughs> 